Hi, this is Dr. Levi Harrison. I'm speaking to you today from Glendale Outpatient Surgery Center, a premier surgery center in the United States. Today I'll be talking about carpal tunnel syndrome. As a hand surgeon, carpal tunnel syndrome is the most common nerve compression neuropathy that I take care of. People often present with pain, numbness, and tingling in their hands, and often they'll have pain at night that awakens them. This pain is quite intense and severe, and they can't even get a restful sleep. So, I want to show you some exercise that can help to prevent and decrease the symptoms of carpal tunnel, and then I want to tell you about other treatment modalities. These are gliding exercises. I recommend that you do them five minutes a day for two sessions, so a total of 10 minutes a day. Very easy, very simple. So let me show you how to do them properly. So hands straight out, up and down, around and back. Up and down, around and back around. The key here is to keep your elbows straight, palms up and down, around and back. Very simple, very easy, but very, very effective. Let's also talk about other modalities that are used to treat carpal tunnel syndrome. So, if you're at work, you may want to talk to your employer about getting your workstation ergonomically balanced. That will help you tremendously with having the proper height of your desk, proper keyboard, an ergonomically balanced keyboard, mouse, or trackball. Other things that you may want to do is talk to your physician or healthcare provider about using a splint especially at night, to simply rest your nerve and keep your hand in a position of function so that at night you don't do this. Often people bend their hands and bend their wrist at night and this puts increased pressure on the carpal tunnel and of course increased pressure on the median nerve. Other things that can be done are physical therapy, acupuncture, anti-inflammatory medication, or you can do an injection of a steroid such as Kenalog and Marcaine. So, with that said, if the steroid injection is not effective, then the last thing to do for carpal tunnel, of course, would be surgical intervention, which takes only about five minutes, very short, very easy, very effective procedure, and over 98% of people who have it done. Well, today we've talked about carpal tunnel syndrome. We've talked about the symptoms. We've talked about exercise to help prevent it. We've talked about the treatment modalities, we've talked about surgical options, and we've also talked about lifestyle changes. You have all you need to know now about carpal tunnel syndrome. So if you need our help, we're here to help you here at Glendale Outpatient Surgery Center, and I want you to be the best that you can be, and I want you to do the best that you can, of course, to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome.